Hello viewers, in this video I will explain you how we will find out the deflection and slope by using the double integration method when the concentric load is acting over the beam. What I will do, I will cut the beam from here and make the moment equation for my work. And I will cut it from here and this is taken this distance as a x and the shear force act over here downward and moment act over here counterclockwise. Take this term as they are and if you are taking the left side if and by cutting from here you are taking the right side then take this term as the opposite directions and this is my P point and I will take the moment about point P and take the counterclockwise as a positive this M is the counterclockwise moment taken as positive and this 4 is the force and X is the moment arm this 4x create the clockwise moment about point P so taken this as a negative and the sum of these two moments is equal to 0 because only two moments are acting at this section this M and 4x this V do not create the moment because V is passing through this point and this is my moment equation for only this AC region and if they here only the one concentric load is acting over the beam so what I will do I will make only one equation for this region and if I have concern for this region I will make separate equation for this region and if the different loading are acting over the beam I will make I will cut it from here and take this distance as x and make moment equation for this region similarly as I have drawn as I have taken the earlier and I will cut it from here and make the equation for this region and then for this region separately and this is my beam and this is my equation for the point load and what I will do the first integration for this moment will give me the slope value in this AC region and the second integration of this moment equation will give me the deflection value of this in AC region or for this type of beam and this is my slope and put m is equal to over here I will put simply m is equal to over here in this equation and I will take this term is equal to slope delta and is equal to this one integrating this 4x I will get this value for this one you should have the basic knowledge how we can integrate a term an algebraic term how we can integrate this is how we can integrate an algebraic term 4x is 4 is taken as that as it is and x square divided by 2 this 2 will comes down and plus c1 is the constant of integration this is how we can done the integration in this case and this is my equation take name this equation as a 1 this equation can be used for finding the slope and for finding the deflection I will take the double integration for this one its first integration is 2x squared plus c1 as I have done in the last slide and it's applying this integration over here and the integration over for the c1 integrating them separately I will get these values and c2 is the integration for the constant for this whole equation and this is the equation for the deflection name this equation as a 2 this is this is my one equation and this is my set 2 equation this equation is used for finding the slope and this equation can be used for finding the deflection for this type of beam in AC region we are solving only now the AC region now how we will find out the value C1 and C2 we will find out these values by using the boundary condition you must should be you must be familiar with the boundary condition term boundary condition mean here in this case at point A and B the deflection must be zero because the deflection is always zero at the sports the roller sport pin sport or fixed sport the deflection zero x is equal to zero at point A deflection is equal to zero putting these values in equation 2 I will get C2 is equal to zero and 
at the midpoint here is the another boundary condition which is at the midpoint when the same load is acting here this load is acting at the center so at the center the slope will be zero the center distance is 3 meter from here so putting 3 is equal to 0 in first equation and the delta is equal to 0 because the slope at that point is equal to 0 I will get C1 is equal to minus 18 putting C1 and C2 in equation 1 and 2 we will get these equations which are free from C1 and C2 terms and now I will use these equations for finding the slope and this equation for finding the deflection in AC region now there are different type of questions can arise find the slope find the deflection in at uh, point uh, 1 meter from A at point 2 meter from A you can use these equations for finding these some questions I have written over here find the slope at point A the slope what will be the slope value at point A put the x is equal to 0 in equation 1 you will find out the slope at point A this is the negative slope at point A this is the negative slope at point A taken as clockwise this is the deflected expected deflected shape of this beam the second question can be arises that uh, find the deflection here in the last there was slope and now the find deflection at point C what is the deflection value at point C put the x is equal to 3 in equation second and I will get the deflection at point C which is this one negative downward from the base blue line and here is the UDL acting over the beam I will make only one equation in this case for the moment and this equation is for the UDL for the, for the slope and this equation for the deflection you can practice it at your own time in this video I will explain you how we can find out the slope and deflection by using the double integration method when the UDL is acting over the 10 meter span of the beam simply spotted beam these are the reactions for this UDL for this type of beam let's proceed for this I will cut it from here and make the equation of the moment and then proceed forward cut it from here and take the shear force downward and moment as a counterclockwise as we are we have cut it from the left side we are we have taken the x distance from the left side so we will take these dimensions as they are if we cut it from here and take this side then we will take these opposite sides okay let's move forward and this is my only one type of load is acting throughout the span so I will make only one equation for the moment for this type of beam and take this moment equation for the whole beam for finding the slope and deflection but here the load different loads are acting through the span of the beam so we will take the different cut it from here and take this distance as x and make different moment equation for this region and make different moment equation for this region and make different moment equation for this region we will have three different moment equations in these for three three different regions and use them for finding the slope and deflection in these respective regions this is my beam and I will take the moment about point M and take the counterclockwise as a positive and clockwise moment as a negative this m is counterclockwise acting about point p so taken as positive this 20 into x 20 is the reaction multiplied by moment arm x this create the clockwise moment about point p so taken as negative plus this is the udl force 4 into x 4 into x is the udl force multiplied by x by 2 is the moment arm half of this x distance and this create the counterclockwise moment about point p so taken this as a positive this create the clockwise moment say taken as negative this create the counterclockwise moment taken as positive and this mission of the moment 
these three moments about point P is equal to 0. This is arranging this equation, I will get this moment equation for this beam. And now, if I take the first integration for this moment equation, I will get the slope. And the second integration for this moment equation, I will get deflection, equation for deflection. Using that equation, I can found, find out deflection at any point in this beam. And first of all, I will find out first integration for this moment equation. For this, you have you should have a basic concept of how we can find out integration. This is my slope, and this is putting m over here and taking ei outside from the integration because it is constant. Applying this integration separately here and separately at here and take the integration of 20x and 2x square. The integration of 20x is this one and of 2x square is this plus this x minus sign as it is minus plus c1 is the constant for integration and ei goes to there multiplied with slope and this is my equation 1. Equation 4 slope for this whole span. Now I will take the second integration for the moment for the deflection value. Put the m value over here. The first integration is this one as I have taken in the last slide and here I will take its second integration. Multiply the integration over here and then here and then here. Take the separately the integration of 10x square is this one. The integration of 2x cubed by 3 is this one. And the integration of c1 is this one. And plus c2 is the constant of integration for this equation. This take is take this equation as 2. And this is my first equation and this is my second equation. First equation is used for slope, finding the slope and second equation is used for finding the deflection. And here, now I will proceed to find out the C1 and C2 values. Find, after finding these values, I can find out the deflection and slope value at any point in this beam. For C1 and C2 value, I will use the boundary condition. This boundary condition is the term that you can that you should familiar with this term. Boundary condition mean that at the ends and at the mid what is the value of slope and deflection. At the start at the end here the x is equal to 0 and the deflection is equal to 0. Putting these two values in equation 2 I will get the c2 is equal to 0. Here deflection is equal to put 0 x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, so c2 will be equal to 0. And taking x is equal to 5 over the slope will be 0 at that point. Putting these two values slope and x is equal to 5 in equation 1 which is related to slope, we will get c1 as here I have taken it. I have solved it. c1 is equal to minus 166.67. <coughs> put c1 and c2 in these equations I will get these equations as they are free from c1 and c2 constants. Now I can use these equations for this equation for finding the slope and this equation for finding the deflection. Let's move forward. Now the question you can solve any type of question related to slope and deflection for this beam. The first question can arise find the slope at point A. At point A, x value is 0, put the x value is 0 in equation 1 because equation 1 is related to slope and I will get the slope value at point A. This is the slope at point A. This is negative so taking it as a clockwise over here. And the second question can be arises find slope at point x. This at point x is equal to 7. At here, we, yes, we can find out the slope at here also. Put the x is equal to 7 in this equation, I will get theta is equal to 94. Here it is positive, so it will be 
counter clockwise and at the last it was slope was negative over here at a it was clockwise here it is counter clockwise because the value is positive by putting the x is equal to 7 here the slope is positive mean the curve is moving upward let's move forward the question can also arise find the point where slope is 0 here the slope is 0 x is equal to 5 the slope is 0 you can find out the point put the slope x is equal to 5 and slope you can we will find out slope is equal to 0 at x is equal to 5 find deflection at midpoint or find maximum deflection the deflection here the there is one type of loading on this beam so deflection will be at the mid maximum deflection will be at the mid so put the x is equal to 5 in equation 2 because equation 2 is related to deflection and i will get the maximum deflection here this is my maximum deflection negative value so taking it as a downward the question can also arise find the deflection at x is equal to 7 meter this is my deflection at x is equal to 7 meter it is also negative it is less than the maximum deflection which was minus 520 wise 525 so this was my the maximum my maximum deflection and now it is the deflection at point x is equal to 7